Hey, how's it going? It's your boy Chief Strays Bolts here, joined alongside my boy Casey, Ace Raiders Dub Sharks. This is our follow up to our previous uh, video regarding the League Division Series matchups um, the ALDS, NLDS. All right, I, I gotta ask you, Casey, as a as a as a fan of a team who did not make the playoffs this year, what caught your eye? It was a lot more re uh, relaxing than previous years because I didn't have to worry about the A's, you know, getting out in their normal fashion. But a lot of things surprised me. I was one for four on predictions, so clearly a lot of surprises. I did not see <clears throat> the Giants losing, and not obviously a heartbreaker for them. I thought Milwaukee was going to win, and I thought Tampa Bay was going to win. Unfortunately for me, my predictions were wrong. But, I mean, I think this they were pretty good series. I think it kind of goes to show the umps were pretty bad in a lot of these games, which is something we might touch on later. But I think from a fan that didn't have a team in it, a team that didn't even make the wild card, I thought it was a pretty good uh, division series for both sides in terms of entertainment. But a lot of my desired outcomes did not come true. So, yeah, how do you feel about it, having a team that unfortunately lost to a big market team like the Red Sox oh, in the division like rival? I shit about it. That's what I'll tell you. Um, so it wasn't like one of those things, like in previous years, 2019, the Rays make the wild card against none other than your Oakland Athletics. And and let me just tell you what, that was the first time the Rays had clinched a playoff spot in six years at that point. So I was just happy that we were in a wild card. And when we won that game, I know it sucked for you, but for me, when we won that game, that was like, that was our World Series. Like that was... I was satisfied with the way our season went at that moment when we won the wild card game, and I knew we weren't going to beat. I knew we weren't going to beat Houston. Like we just, we were the underdogs. It wasn't going to happen. All right, and that's exactly what yeah. happened. Houston won the series, but I was happy. I wasn't mad yeah. about it because we weren't expected to go far. Twenty twenty, we make the World Series. Nobody expected us to go to the World Series. Not even Rays fans. So we got more than we bargained for, and uh, and so it was different this year. Twenty twenty one. Because we were the top dog. We were the number one seed. And so to lose in four games in the first round, that's the worst way to lose. That is the worst yeah. way to lose as a baseball fan, or the way I see it. I would have much rather us be 2019 all over again and just like be happy to make a wild card spot. Yeah, you know, I say that, but it was right. it was the best season the Rays have ever had. 100 wins, never hit 100 wins before, so that's a big deal, especially for a small market like us. Mm -hmm. So that was cool. We had a great yeah. regular season. You know, it'll be fun looking back at that regular season. It will not be fun looking back on that ALDS. Um, you know, it just sucks because the Rays ended the season strong. They go into the Bronx. They take two out of three. In one of those games, I believe it was game two, they absolutely destroyed New York, like twelve to four. So it wasn't even close. And I'm just, I'm thinking to myself, all right, we're going into the playoffs hot. We're gonna be, we're gonna be tough to beat. And then, nope, out of nowhere. Just the Reds, the fucking Red Sox, man. Um, so, for those who watch my channel, uh, you probably saw the Game 3 rant shortly after it happened. I made that video after it took place. It was actually a live stream, and I was just going on about the bullshit rule. Um, and I'm not discounting the rule, because I understand the rule is the rule. It was placed in the rule book for a reason. But I think it's a bullshit rule, right? It bounces off of Hunter Renfro, and somehow that benefits him. That's his fault for misplaying the ball. That's his fault for misplaying the ball, and I think it's bullshit. I think it's a bullshit rule, and I think the Rays should have had that run there. And if we had that run, who knows, probably would have gone on to win the game. The following day, the Rays get eliminated. Again, in heartbreaking fashion. Two nights in a row, heartbreak. The absolute worst. You didn't just lose in heartbreaking fashion once, but twice. Not just twice, but back-to-back cons -back consecutive nights. That's the worst. Um, yeah. And... That was some bullshit in its own, not because of a rule or because the opposing team, but because my own team. The Rays just, they come back and they tie it 5-5 in the 8th. They have Randy Arozarena on 2nd with no outs. Wander Franco's the first man up, and you're feeling confident because Wander's been way better than what you could have ever asked him to be this year. He pops out. Okay, you know what? I forgive him. He's been fantastic for us. Next, Brandon Lau comes up. Let me, let me just, all right, Brandon Lyle's fucking sucked in the playoffs. Not only this year, but last year too. Um, and, and this stat here is going to blow your mind. 
These past two playoffs, 2020 and 2021 combined, Brandon Lau went a whopping 9 for 93. 9 for 90 fucking 3. That is putrid. That is pathetic. This year's playoffs, he went 0 for 9. So you, Casey, had as many hits in this year's playoffs as Brandon Lau did. That's a fact. Let's go. He's been terrible. So yeah. Brandon Lau comes up, and he does. He grounds out. Grounds out. All right, whatever. And then guess who comes up after that? Nelson Cruz, the guy we went out and got at the deadline. He's supposed to be the game changer for the race this year. He's supposed to be the veteran who wants to finally get his ring. He pops out. And that, and that was his last game with the Rays, I guarantee it, because he was a one-year deal, uh, and he disappointed big time. He was dog shit for us. And uh, and it's just it's it's sad, because the Rays probably would have won that game too if they could have scored Randy or Rosarina. They didn't. They, I mean, he was at second base with zero outs, and they didn't even advance him to third. That's terrible. <sighs> yeah. So yes, heartbreaking fashion for for the Rays, and like I said, it's it's not like previous years where we're not expected to go far, and you're just happy with making it. This year we were expected to go yep. far, so going out in the first round and in four games that sucks. <sighs> yeah. Um. And and I've been I've been hearing this from from Tampa fans, and I agree with it full heartedly. This feels. Like the 2019 Lightning, best season we've ever had, just to get bounced in the first round. Feels like it. Yeah. Feels like it all over again. Um, because the Rays yeah. were in the first round, I didn't watch any of these other first round games. I'm just gonna tell you straight up. And uh, yeah, he, like like Casey mentioned, he went an embarrassing one for four um, on his predictions. Mm-hmm. Well, wait until you hear mine. Yeah, yeah, somehow I was worse. 0 for 4. I was 0 for... I got every single one of these series predictions wrong. Terrible. Um, but I forgive myself because for those who watched the uh, the NFL playoff videos that we did back in February, I did pretty damn yeah. good. I did pretty damn good. Yeah. So I forgive myself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Casey, are you going to watch any of these league championship series games? Unfortunately, yeah, because out of the interest of uh, what's going on right now, I guess I will, and I'm recapping them too, so I kind of have to. But it's not going to be too pleasant. I mean, we have the same NLCS as last year, and we have two hated teams by most of America, same the Astros ALDS and the Red Sox. Three years ago, or ALCS is three years ago. 2018, it was Red Sox yeah, exactly. and Astros. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, in terms of like, who I'm rooting for, I don't have interest in any of these teams. I mean, I guess Atlanta's kind of the underdog, so maybe them. But, I mean, it's it's boring. I mean, I wanted to see a team that kind of had, was, had that grit in it, like a team, like a money ball type team, like the Rays in it, or a team that shocked a lot of people, like the White Sox, a team with that image, and or maybe even the Brewers. But, unfortunately, it's just a boring, you know, I mean, it's just all these teams we kind of expect to be here. Um, I guess aside from the Braves, but they they weren't in it last year. They have a lot of injuries this year. I I, I will watch it, but I'm not going to be super ecstatic for the playoffs uh, going forward. I just think you know it's unfortunate that it came to this because, like you mentioned, you know, like the Rays were had a great year, and I was pulling for them as a fellow minor league team and a team that um, is not treating their fans super well with the whole relocation thing. The A's are doing the same thing. So I kind of relate to you guys um, in that sort of sense. But I hate that the fact that the Red Sox won because it's just, you know, it's like this, It's it reminds me of like when the A's lost to the Yankees in the 2018 wild card. It's just like this money ball team getting, you know, hurt by this huge market. And it just doesn't seem fair. And Manfred is really to blame for that. Uh, I could talk for hours about that, but I, that's besides the point. I just think it's, how about you? Like, how are you going to approach this, the LCS for uh, AL and NL? Like, it just seems so boring, like these matchups. Well, you're absolutely right. I don't give a shit about any of it. I would much rather watch a regular season hockey game between the goddamn Coyotes and Canadians. That's how bad this series is. Um, I don't know. I second that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I'm from here on out, I'm rooting for the Braves because it's been a while for them. And 
I, you know, their fan base, I think, deserves it. They, they've gone through some shit these past couple years. The Atlanta Hawks getting close to the championship didn't make it. The Falcons, we all know, 28-3. to uh, And then the Braves getting yeah. bounced in the NLCS, what seems every year. So, yeah, I think their fans are deserving of some success for once in their goddamn lives. And uh, and I'd like to see and they that lost. happen. Huh? Yeah. And they lost two hockey teams and as well. So I kind of feel teams. bad for them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I guess. I'm... Yeah, I mean Atlanta, it's a cool yeah. city, and they've got a good fan base. They've, the Braves have a fantastic fan base, so I would, I would love for them to yeah. see. I, I would love to see for them to finally get a championship uh, for the first time. I think it's since the nineties. Um, yeah, I'll tell you right now, I don't give a shit about the Los Angeles Dodgers. I think they've got an obnoxious, annoying fan base. They're pretty much the Yankees of the West, and God knows how I feel about the Yankees fan base. Uh, the Red Sox <laughs> are a division rival, so I couldn't give two shits less about them, and I hope they lose. Just, you know, if the Rays would have won this series, the Red Sox fans would be saying the same thing. Oh, I hate the Rays because they're our division rivals, and I hope they fucking lose, right? And then you have the White Sox and the Astros and the Astros. Well, oh, uh, yeah, you got the Astros, who obviously America hates because of the whole cheating scandal. Uh three years ago and I don't blame you. I'm right there with you. I fucking hate them too. Um, but, um, yeah, yeah I, I think, I think pretty much what we're watching is set up to be a rematch of that world series. I think it's without a doubt. Like I'm, I'm going to go on a limb and say, I guarantee you it's going to be Astros Dodgers again. That's how confident I am, uh, in this. Um, now I do have to watch my words because I, I said something very similar a couple of years ago. The Vegas Golden Knights were having an incredible inaugural season, and I said they were, they were going to kick Washington's ass in the cup final, and then it would be the opposite. So, you know what? Don't take me seriously on that. But I, I do really believe it's going to be a rematch of that World Series, and I do believe that half of this country isn't going to give two shits about it. Um, do I care yeah. who wins? No. From here on out, no, I don't. Because if it's not Atlanta then there's going to be a city that I dislike celebrating a championship and that brings me depression. So I don't really care. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, so, so I, I mean, I'm, this video is supposed to be talking about our predictions. I just straight up said it to you. Yeah. I got, I got Dodgers winning and I got Astros winning. Yeah. Well, before I make my prediction, I kind of want to, um, just talk about my relation to all these teams. I pretty much agree with all you said. Being in California, the Dodgers fans, they're everywhere. They're in, you know, this is California. They're they're from top to bottom in our very long state. Um, they're 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 annoying. I mean, they're just they rub it. They talk about their good team when they just buy their players every year. It's, I mean, Scherzer was oh, watch, ridiculous watch and Trey Turner. Dodger fans are gonna attack you for saying that they buy their players. Believe me, last year's World Series recaps I did. Especially the one where I had to recap where the Rays <laughs> lost the World Series. Half the comments, oh, I respected everything you said until you said the Dodgers bought their championship. It's like, okay, but you did. It's like, I think Max Scherzer yeah. is a pretty good example of that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then there's Boston. It's pretty much, they're like a slightly less annoying version of the Yankees. And agreed. I mean, it's, it's hard to be ever so slightly. slightly. I mean, it's, like, this, it's, is, this is the margin. It's right. ever so slightly. Yeah. And then there's the Astros, and like anyone who watches my channel, I literally have a jersey that says Astros cheated. I have a shirt that says Astros cheated, and they're a division rival, kind of like the Red Sox to you, right? So I hate pretty much every team except for Atlanta, which I have no feeling about Atlanta. They're a different league. The A's haven't played Atlanta in like four years probably. I do not remember the last time we played them. Um, I don't really care much about them, but I, I mean, I guess I'm rooting for them. I, I'd love to see Atlanta win something. I feel bad for their fans, like – like you uh, alluded to before. Um, my prediction, I was going to say the same thing, but just for the sake of making things interesting, I'm going to say Dodgers Red Sox, um, just so we can have different predictions. I think, I probably think that the Astros are going to win, but I think somehow, some way, maybe in seven games, Devers is going to get some crazy streak going and win. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but maybe I'm just saying that because I hate Houston. Um, but uh, yeah, Dodgers are going to probably uh, destroy Atlanta. Unfortunately, I mean, Atlanta barely beat Milwaukee. And although the Dodgers barely beat San Francisco, San Francisco is a great team. They were, 
you know, World Series favorites. And now the Dodgers won on some bad calls, but they are still a very good team and their pitching is elite right now. I mean, they imagine they start Scherzer and Bueller and um, you know, this that great bullpen with Urias and all these other guys. It's just I don't see them losing. And although Atlanta is a good team, they don't have Acuna. They're very injured. Freddie Freeman is good, but he's not what he was. He's getting old now. And yeah, I have Dodgers winning. And Boston, I you know I, I hate them, but I would love to see them beat Houston just because it's Houston. And I don't want Houston to win a World Series because then it proves that cheating uh, isn't the only reason they're good. And I want that to be the reason why people hate them. And I feel like if they win the World Series, they're going to be hated a lot less. People will respect the fact that they won without cheating. So that's kind of my stance on that. Yeah, I mean, one thing about Houston that I wanted to say is, like, I don't dislike their fan base, right? Like, th- they're fans of Houston. They're not bad people, okay? They're not annoying. They don't go into other people's stadiums and start chanting, oh, let's go Strohs and all that other shit. Um, they've got a good fan base, I'll say that. And I went, I went to Minute Maid Park this year. They're good fans. It's the team that I hate. It's not the fan. It, like it's not the case with these other teams. Like, I hate the Red Sox and the Dodgers. I hate the teams and the fans. Uh, but that's not the case <laughs> with Houston. I hate the team. I don't hate the fans. They've got a good fan base. Um, and and like back what you said about uh, the the series between the Dodgers and the the Giants. Right for me, I've kind of been saying whoever's gonna win this series is gonna win the World Series. I mean, they're the two best teams in baseball this year. They both had 109 wins going into tonight, so I mean, it's about as evenly matched as you can get in baseball. Uh, whoever won tonight, they're probably gonna win the World Series. So yeah, I think the Dodgers are gonna win the World Series this year. They're gonna go back to back. Sucks, but that's probably what's gonna happen. Um, I think yeah. the World Series, regardless of what the matchup is, is going to be extremely boring as a general fan perspective because I, I truly believe that the only team in the American League that had any chance against either the Giants or Dodgers this year was going to be the Rays. They were easily the best team in the American League this year. They were the only team to hit the triple-digit win mark. Um, so the fact that they were bounced in the first round is extremely disappointing to the Rays fan base and I feel like to a lot of baseball fans in general because I think a lot of people would have rather watched Rays Dodgers than Astros Dodgers, you know, like, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's just me speaking from, from my fan perspective, but I just feel like the Rays were the only team capable of giving a, the Dodgers a run for their money. Yeah. Yeah. And the issue is, and slightly off topic, but the issue is when these small market teams like the Rays and A's, they don't do well, people point fingers and say, Oh, you know, they're not good because they play here or they're not good because of this X, Y, and Z. And it's like being a fan of a small market team, you have to go through that. Like people pointing the finger at you and blaming you for not being good, even though the Rays were very capable. Like you said, I think I had the Rays winning the AL, you know, before the playoffs even started. I just, I obviously didn't watch them even to a fraction of what you watch them this year. Cause I, you know, time and whatnot. And, uh, you know, being an A's fan, I watch their games, but like, I knew the Rays were a scary team um, regardless. And unfortunately, it kind of goes to show that like Moneyball, the Moneyball way, it just doesn't really work winning you a World Series. And last year was great for the Rays getting there. But unfortunately, the Dodgers just, they were they were better because they had more money. And I mean, you know, we're gonna probably going to get flamed for saying that, you know, because Dodger Dodgers fans don't everybody like to admit. Else agrees. Everybody who's not a fan of a big market team agrees, and that's the reality of it. So if any Dodger yeah. fan, Yankee fan, wants to talk shit, talk your shit. You're not going to change yeah. my mind. You're not going to change my mind. Yeah. I think it's I think it's all garbage. Yeah. Yeah, and the issue is, and I think we talked about this last time, is only a certain, very tiny amount of teams make the playoffs in baseball. Only, what, is it six per league, or is it yeah, you have the it's three division winners, total, five, right? five. You have three. eight division winners yeah. and then two wild, or no, six division winners and four wild cards. So, yeah, so the fact that the Rays even make it with that, what is it, like seventy million dollar payroll, is a miracle. Yeah, because absolutely. You would think absolutely. Yeah, because you would think that like the top five payrolls would make it, right? But the Rays and White Sox making it, like I mean, White Sox have a higher payroll, but they're still. Small, they're in the middle. I wouldn't say they're a big market team. So it's a miracle that the, you know, the A's in past years were able to make it too. So until 
the MLB decides to implement a salary cap or some sort of fair system where, you know, it's not fair that one owner can really decide the fate. And for you, it's Sternberg. For us, it's Fisher can decide the fate of a team. One guy, one guy's money. And it's like, it's not fair because really the big payrolls are the reason why we have these boring CSs every year. Besides last, last year was interesting because we had the Rays in it. And, you know, last year's playoffs, although I kind of didn't like the format because it screwed over the division winners, I it was interesting. Seeing the Marlins beat the Cubs and, like, these random teams make it, it was cool. But I'm just I, – I think baseball is going to have some sort of boycott until, you know, it's it's rigged. It really is rigged. It's not fair. And it's it's boring unless you're a big market fan. And it's – even for you, it has – even for a big market fan, it would have to be boring seeing just the same matchup every year. You know, Absolutely. it's like – Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not boring yeah. if your team is in it. I mean, that's the that's the reality. And us small market fans sure. never win because when we have shit years, it's, oh, you're not doing this right, or, oh, your owner just needs to spend money and this and that. And the excuse, the, the list of excuses is like a CVS receipt. It's endless. And, and then when your team does do good and makes the playoffs and gets to a World Series like the Rays did last year, it's the same people saying, Oh, see, this is why we don't need a salary cap because your small market team made it to the World Series. You never win. I know. You never win. It's yeah. just you have to live in your own little small market world sometimes because you never win with the big market fan bases. And uh, I've been trying to stay off of yeah. Twitter because I've been learning that more than uh, most days it just it pisses me off reading what other people say because I disagree yeah. with so many people. Uh yeah, no, I, I agree with you, every, everything you said. Um, it is rigged not in the sense that the MLB scripts the games, but in the sense that these the, the most rich owners can just buy their way. Maybe not to a championship, but at least to like the Final Four, Final Eight every year. And we've seen this with the Dodgers. Money. It, we've seen this yeah. with the Dodgers. We've seen the Yankees make the playoffs every single year. And uh, it's just it's the same, like... Yeah. I'm not saying all oh, these teams buy their championships. I'm just saying, yeah, but you, you buy your way into the playoffs. The playoffs are pretty much a buy-in. And then every couple of years, you'll have a team like the Rays or the A's that managed to sneak into a wild card spot because they had a surprising season. And that's that's the harsh reality. You never see that in football. You never see that in hockey. And I'm, I don't watch basketball, but I'm assuming you never see that in basketball either. Yeah, never, ever. Because the salary cap is very set. And, every, and also the rosters are a lot smaller than baseball. So you have every team has a good player, essentially. And in basketball, you really don't need too many good players to be in the playoffs. So basketball, although it's, you know, it's every team is more on a level playing ground, it's a lot more fun to watch. And unfortunately, baseball and also the amount of games baseball has, there's more injuries. And it's like, you know, it's I, I don't know. And then the relocation talks as well with these small market people pointing the finger and saying, oh, you don't you guys don't go to enough games. So you're going to move. And it's like, that's not oh, the reason. My absolute you know, it's like, favorite is from the outsiders, the people who have never been to Tampa say, oh, your fan base sucks. You, I don't you, you should still go to the games, even though it's a long drive. I'm like, OK, well, you've never fucking been here. It takes an hour from downtown Tampa on game days because of the traffic. You realize St. Petersburg is a city surrounded by fucking water, right? You have to go on a bridge to get there. One bridge, you have all these shitty New York drivers because they know Florida's a better state. They know Tampa's a better city than New York and Boston. You know, There's a reason they come live here and then pack the trop with their shitty team gear. Uh, we're, we're better. But, like, you know, you, you just – these bridges get backed up. And, and I'll say, like, it takes an hour to get to the trot from downtown Tampa. People will be like, oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, you're right on non-game days when there's no traffic. But on game days, there's going to be traffic. It's it's a pain in the ass. And as a Rays fan, when you've done that over and over and over again, the older you get, the less of a de desire you have to go to multiple games. Like, you just you, – you find yourself wanting to go less – and that's the case for most race fans. It's not that we don't care. It's not that we don't support the team. It's that the drive is just such a pain in the ass, you know? <laughs> and with Oakland, it's – I know we're kind of going off topic, but, like, with Oakland, it's the complete opposite. The stadium is so easy to get to. It's, it's easier than San Francisco. You go the freeway and you're there. You know, it's like the issue is the location. Nobody wants to see a game in that part of town um, for obvious reasons. And it's like San Francisco, it's nicer and the loyal fans show out, but there's not enough. And it's like, that's the problem. We have fans. It's just people don't go. We had the highest selling 
wild card, the 2019 wild card game against you guys was the highest selling wild card game of all time with 53,000 fans. That was 2,000 away from a sellout at the Coliseum, which is a huge stadium. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just think, you know, looking at, you know, kind of connecting to what we were talking about with the, the ALCS and NLCS, it's like these fans, maybe aside from Atlanta, don't really understand, you know, they take it for granted, right? Because like, they see them there there it's an expectation the Dodgers are going to make it they've been here so many years in a row oh, and it's definitely then, an expectation for them or at least the vast majority yeah. the vast majority have got to yeah. be like oh yeah and with the Dodgers it's like oh Trevor Bauer had these allegations against him and he can't play this year mm, oh well so so be it we'll go out and get Max Scherzer no big deal you know it's yeah and Kershaw isn't very good anymore. Oh, we'll just get, you know, we'll replace him. That's the, that's the Dodger way, really. Just replacing, replacing, replacing uh, with the better talent. And it's, you know, it, unfortunately, it hurts teams like us. And, you know, Trey Turner, too, is a good example of just, you know, buying a, a superstar. You know, he was great with with Washington. And it's like, yeah, so unfortunate. Yeah, and, and listen, we could make a whole video about how we feel about being small market fans. They would, I mean, we'd be we'd be ranting for hours, I guarantee it, because I could go on and on. Probably gonna eventually make a video about my uh, my bid for moving the Rays to Tampa. Like I, I I'm I'm wanting to make a video. Like I have an outline sketch about like how I want it to be. I want it to be kind of like a documentary almost, where like I'm showing you. Remember that Snapchat video I sent you a while ago? I was on the top parking garage at Tampa International I was showing you Raymond James this direction and then Tropicana yeah. way yeah. over in the distance I want to do something like that where I go yeah. film on top of that garage and just show you straight up like all right I'm here there's Raymond James there's downtown and way off when you look through these damn binoculars you can see Tropicana Field that's what I want to do some type of documentary type shit I don't know I don't really have an outline but like I have like kind of the idea of how I want it to be, and I, I feel like there's not enough people advocating for moving the Rays to Tampa. So I feel like with me being a, one of the very few Tampa Bay Rays YouTubers out there, I kind of I feel like I have to step up in a situation like this and make a video like that. But um, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah, and I mean I'm wishing the best for the Rays. You know, with the the Montreal thing is stupid. I'm hoping we get our stuff together. I think we will, but the media hates Oakland. So, you know, that's just what that's the reality. You know, yeah. media likes Las Vegas. And so I'm advocating for it. I made countless videos about this one stadium. And it's like, you know, we're trying to get our voices heard. And it's like, I think if you do the same thing with the Rays, probably a good idea. And there aren't many A's YouTubers that are, you know, publicized, um, yeah. you know, to the degree that I fortunately have. Um, and you know, I'm from what you've been saying, same with the Rays. So it's like, it's important. And it's like, if we ever want to become a bigger market team, you know, cause small market, it's, you get a lot of pity for it, but it's like, it's not fun at all. It's hor It's, it's hell, you know, yeah. it's, it's hell on earth being a market fan because it's a countless cycle of, of rebuilding and prospects and rebuilding and, and wanting to move. It's like, it's terrible, but it's like, we want to become the Yankees with, with less annoying fans. We want to become where the Yankees are. <laughs> With, with less annoying fans. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, it, it's never going to happen unless the ownership step up. And it's like, we're never going to make it to this, this, uh, where this level of the ALCS or NLCS, or I guess you guys have, um, fortunately last year, but like, we're never going to be legitimate contenders unless these owners step up and get their acts together. And unfortunately, that's not happening for either team, it seems like, because, you know, that's, they, they're not adequate, adequately supporting. The, the franchises that's just the that's the problem yeah and let me just say real quick you know Stu and manfred they're okay with uh with tampa and montreal sharing a team i don't think these two cities are on good terms after that last stanley cup final <laughs> yeah i'm just saying i don't really know how well we'd be sharing a team it's like it's like yeah. it. It's I, you know, this one guy that Trump had a sign. It's like sharing a team is like sharing a wife. It's wrong. <laughs> like it's just it's wrong. And it I've is, questioned yeah. myself a lot if this actually happens, which I don't think it will. If this actually happens, would I still support the team? 
Some days I'm like, half a team is better than no team, so yeah. And then other days I'm thinking, well, it'd be less of a hassle just to either switch teams or just stop watching baseball in general. Like, I don't know. Like, a part of me is like, I just wouldn't be a baseball fan anymore. Another part of me is like, I'd switch teams. Another part of me is be like, okay, I'd just stay. Half a team is better than no team. But, you know, until it happens, you, you, I, I don't know. <laughs> and for me, I have the same situation. Some days I want to switch. Some days I'll stick with the A's and be like, okay, I'll be a Las Vegas Raider and A's fan. But the... The amount of merchandise I have, it's not worth it to switch. Honestly, that's what I'm thinking. And, you know, is it worth it? No. And also, I feel like being a Giants fan is kind of boring. Like, it's like every Bay Area stereotype. It's like, oh, I'm a Giants and Niners fan. It's like being an A's and Raiders fan is different. You know, it's like, it's unique. And unfortunately, the teams don't stay. Um, That's the reality. Well, I guess I can't say that yet for the A's, but... Yeah, I, I'm in the same boat as you. I don't know what I would do right now. I, I don't know what I would do. Hopefully, I'm planning to stay, but I don't know. You know, it's just the reality. It's, it's unfortunate. Well, about the last 10 minutes of this video could have been cut up into a different segment. So, you know what? But, I mean, it's we kind of wing these things, and it can go off topic. But I'm, I'm glad that we're talking about it. So, anyways, that's, that's pretty yeah. much going to wrap this up. Uh NLCS, ALCS predictions. I mean, let us know what you think in the comments. That's about all I got. So that's that's about it. Catch you next time. Peace. See you guys.